South Africa for like three months and um, it, was, it was like a trip to see the country, our, all our family, my cousins, grandparents, everyone's there and it was pretty cool to race chat as well so we did a couple meets, traveled the country, went to Cougar National Park, saw the beaches, it was, it was amazing. The greatest age group swimmer in U.S. history is back from his long trip from South Africa. Rumors swirled that Michael Andrew was going to jump ship and represent South Africa, the birthplace of his parents, at the 2016 Olympic Games. But they were only rumors. Michael Andrew's glad to be back stateside. I, I love it here. I love the meets. The meets are run a lot different. I love just the way you know, the swimming handles stuff. I, um, it's just nice to be back in the States. Yeah, it's home. Michael recently made headlines signing a big partnership with Adidas. Now that he's married to the company, he's beefing up on the company history. Pay attention, you might learn something. First of all, I want to talk just a little bit about Adidas. A lot of people think it's Adidas. Yeah. And so there are two ways you can say it. You can say Adidas or you can say Adidas. Adidas is like a foreign way to say it. It's like the original way. And um, I just want to go into the history of it. The guy that founded the company was Adolf Dassler, commonly known as Adi Dassler. And then like, the name came in as Adi Das. So when we were there, we kind of figured, okay, so the correct way to say it is Adi Das. According to Michael, the new tech suit is coming and he's tested it and he describes it like this. I can say the new suit makes a lot of the other racing suits feel like training suits. Yeah, so I was, I've been one of the only ones to try it out and swim in it and it's pretty ridiculous. Now that Michael's in the Adidas family, has he been hanging out with other elites? I just spoke with Allison a little bit here and I've been able to stay in contact with Cesar and so yeah, not much further than that, but just saying hi and knowing we're on the same team. Michael's the kid, the rising talent. What's it like to be on the Adidas team with these Olympic icons? It's pretty cool, especially because, you know, we're the only three in the States. So me, Allison, and Cesar. And, well, Cesar's Brazilian, so it's just me and Allison. But um, it's it's really exciting and um, it's, it's kind of cool to be at the meet where I'm the only one in the suit, you know? It's just me in the Adidas suit. But um, yeah, it's cool. We're kind of um, making new pavement, new roads, and I'm excited to take over the swim industry with Adidas swimming. I think all swim fans have wondered about the pressure that Michael's put in himself turning pro at 14. And in a rare moment, he's raw and real about what he's experienced. When I when I became a professional athlete, I was a lot of a lot of issues went on. I was nervous. I became pressured on myself, and I had um, have a lot of anxiety issues before meets. But now, you know, through through um, a couple Bible retreats and stuff, I know God's blessed me with a gift, and I'm not defined by the success of my sport. And I'm here for a purpose. And it's all in his plan, and to have Adidas now behind us is, just makes it more exciting to race. It's another motivation. I love it. I have no fear, no, no pressures, no worries whatsoever. I'm just excited to swim. Michael just turned 16 at the top of his age group, where he typically breaks a lot of records. What are his plans for the summer? Plans stay the same. I mean, we're obviously not going to nationals. We're shooting for the junior world team, and I'm, my goal is to make world rankings much better. Obviously, I mean, it must, it must be nice to be top 12 in the world and something, but um, yeah, the breaststroke, I really want to be under that one minute point eight, which is the junior world record right now. But yeah, plans stay the same. Um, trials in June, so we'll see.